flows, energy flows. So focus your energy on continuous learning and stop wasting time thinking about looking smart. Build resistance, build vulnerability, build courageousness, and face adversity with a smile. Become comfortable with uncomfortable. You know, the only person that you need to prove anything to is you. Imperfect action trumps perfect inaction. Stop wasting time and get on with it. Failure is part of learning, so start learning by taking action. Christian Lavolsi, we are back. It is Wednesday afternoon and we are here with the Business Life Hot Seat. How are you going today? I'm well, thank you. I'm well, well. As well as you can be when you can't shake off the flu. So it's all right. <laughs> I know winter is definitely coming. The cold snap has hit a little bit, but apparently if you're in Melbourne, you're still getting all four seasons that it's raining one minute and bright and sunny the next. So <laughs> it is that time of the year where it is a bit all over the shop. But not for us. We're not all over the shop. We are here to provide some value and give your insights to our audience, to our followers on different topics that come up through the week. So every week we put a poll out on your LinkedIn feed and we ask the audience specific questions so we can answer them here on the hot seat and provide just that extra bit of value to everyone that is around us. So let's get straight into it today. And I don't think this is going to be a really easy topic um, to talk about because I think there's going to be a lot of it depends and a lot of other factors. But, you know, I'm going to ask what the questions that I've come up with anyway. And I really just wanted to dive into some different things about opportunities and threats and really looking at what's going on right now in our landscape and what is this like for us? We hear a lot about uh, interest rates going up. We hear a lot about talking about recessions and all these other things. So I would love to know just your perspective. So is there more opportunities or threats in our current landscape? Look, I think that um, regardless of the landscape, there are always opportunities and there are always threats. Yeah. And uh, just like that, we didn't expect the tribe to, to run in through the back of behind you. Mm -hmm. uh, which one is that, one? Is that Blake? <laughs> yes, it is. Guys, Mummy's talking. Can you go out, please? Thank you. Uh, so that, 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 that's, that's, that's an opportunity and a threat right there. Um, so look, uh, it really, it really does come down to, um, you know, uh, the, the timing. Okay, and by that I mean uh, things that we're not going to be able to resolve within twelve or twenty-four months. So that really gives us a very strong foundation to work from uh, to be able to cover that off. The other thing that we also have in our toolboxes is our inheritance, our, 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 you know, our key, our, what we call our core competencies. You know, what are we really, really good at? You know, I've got a client of mine that their core competency is aluminum everything. So essentially, if it's aluminium right, or aluminum, as the Americans call it, um, we we do it. We That's all we do. That's our core focus. We don't do plastic. We don't do um, glass. We do aluminium. Mm. And that allows us to stay very focused in the opportunities that come our way. Really yeah. focused. Because yeah. that's all we'll stick to. And therefore, if we understand the trends that we might be facing, right, uh, that those trends might actually be, you see a head bopping up on the stand desk. Hi, love. Lavender. We are Hello. Still alive. Do you want to say hi? <laughs> hi. Hi, hi darling. <laughs> all but no one at the moment. Um, health illnesses, whether they're situational or whether they are clinical, um, you know, uh, I don't believe that people are soft. Uh, I think that um, for some people it really is a, a problem and and you need to develop a, a very, very strong growth mindset to manage the situation, not necessarily overcome it, you know. Um, we all battle demons. I, I've, I've suffered depression and, and overcame it 10, 12 years ago. And, you know, whenever I hear, feel a, a sense of relapse, um, you know, I know the techniques that I need to deploy. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, really important that, you know, I know we always talk about business, but it's also about you as an individual. You know, yeah. those threats and opportunities are yours. So, 
you know, um, yeah, just recently, you know, this week, not think, this recently, this week, um, you know, the Jackson Frillo was found, you know, um, dead at age 46, you know, uh, a famous chef and uh, someone that um, I didn't personally know, but I have had conversations with him uh, in the past, uh, particularly because we were both in the restaurant game for a long time. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, you know, whatever, whatever this, uh, the tragedy around that, he was a person that battled anxiety throughout his career, successful a privileged white male with the most incredible wife and incredible children. And I am blessed that I get to do what I do every day. That doesn't yeah. mean that every day is easy, mm. right? It doesn't mean that, you know, every day I don't have the same pressures, but I just know how to handle them. And so what I want to say to you, if you're out there and you're struggling and you need some support, then reach out and ask for it. But don't, don't be a victim. Don't sit in that negative space hoping that, you know, the thunderbolt is going to come from the sky and it's going to give you, you know, all the, all the answers that you need. That shit doesn't come. You've actually got to go and search for it. You've got to go and stand out in the desert in the middle of a storm and you've got to have something metallic in your hand to allow that thunderbolt to strike <laughs> you in the head, right? Anyway, that's my rant. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, we are, we are so excited, Christian. You're going to be back in New South Wales next week. We've got some uh, events coming up in Sydney on Wednesday night and down in Wollongong on Thursday, which I'm super pumped.